Hey, um, so I have like, I don't know, the equivalent of a man cold, probably. I'm sure I'm fine. Um, but I feel like death. Yesterday, Saturday, okay, so Friday? I don't actually remember it's on Friday, but I'm sure I did nothing. Um, Saturday, oh no, Friday I went out for dinner with Ryan and Tasha. Because Ryan's sick. I mean, that's not why we went for out for him, but that's why I remember. Um, we had chicken, and it was good, and I was fine. Um, and then Saturday, a <laughs> really, really miserable Ryan um, came. So somebody posted on the, um, we have a Facebook, there is a Facebook group for basically expats. Um, and somebody who is leaving posted a free bed. So I went with Ryan to get it, and it was just like, it was a drizzly day. It was fine. It was very warm. Very, very warm. Jacket around my waist, like, not even with a sweatshirt. Very warm. Uh, but drizzly. And I could have prompted him to ask if he had made concrete plans about how we were getting the bed back. But I decided it's his bed. And all I'm fin- financing in this operation is my subway fare to the bed. And he got to deal with the rest. So... Turns out he hadn't dealt with the rest. So these people lived on the third floor. And it was, the bed was a backboard, a headboard, a footboard. Although actually the footboard doesn't really go above the bed itself. Just on the ground. And then two side pieces that connect. And then fitting inside that is two small plastic tables, I guess. Kind of like milk crates, but like plastic with little legs. Excuse me. Um, and they're not attached to the rest. And then the mattress went on top of that. So it wasn't, they're like the box spring. So, like, we theoretically didn't need the outside part. It was just to make it look pretty. But yeah. So we brought all of that downstairs. And then he was like, oh, how do I get this home? And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, first he tried a regular taxi, but, like, it's a fucking, it's a bed. It's a, a queen-size bed. Granted, it's in pieces, and theoretically he could have just taken the new mattress and the, mind you, it's drizzling, but we are under an overhang. The mattress and the box spring and, like, left the frame, but it's still not fitting in a taxi. So then he tried encouraging, he found a taxi and tried to encourage him to bring a friend with a van, but neither of our communication skills were up to that. So finally we call, oh, and then we call the Jumbo Jumbo Taxi, which seems to be like an SUV or a panel van or something. Um, but they were like, no, you need to book 24 hours in advance. And we're like, okay, but do you have one now? And they're like, we can have one for you tomorrow. So, no. But then there was this guy who had basically a minivan with no seats, um, except in the front. And for 35 bucks, he drove us uh, maybe... 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the traffic from this girl's place back to ours. So that was, that was fun. We spent a whole day basically putting this bed up. Um, it was, it was fun. And then yesterday, Sunday, I, so for Solnal, for New Year's, for Chusok, our boss gave us a box of apples. And for Solnal, she gave us a box of Jeju oranges, which are actually, they're tartar than, than regular oranges. Um, but yeah, they were, oops, sorry about that. That's not Okay. They were pretty good, and I was eating them, and then I was sick of just, like, plain oranges, so I made pancakes with orange zest in them, and it the batch had only one egg, so I couldn't split it, really, and no, I don't have applesauce. Wait, actually, I do have applesauce. Um, so, I, anyway, I messaged Tosh and Ryan, and they came up for pancakes, and yeah, I didn't leave the house again after yesterday, but, like, we had pancakes around maybe noon one maybe more like one because at a certain point as we were hanging out tosh was like oh it's two o'clock and then i had a granola bar for dinner because i felt like crap and i didn't by dinner i mean like suddenly my stomach was rumbling around midnight and i was like oh you want something don't you um and then this morning a it was meeting day which means my mornings go um they have to go a lot faster and b i still felt pretty nauseous so i didn't eat breakfast which was maybe not the right answer, but that's where I went with it. And I didn't eat lunch, and then suddenly, just before I left, I was starving and felt 
stomach wise a lot better but just like my whole body is not happy so usually in these situations i would suck it up and deal because like you don't go to the doctor for this um but i asked ashley who had gone for a sinus infection and she said the copay is about three dollars so i went because like why not at the very least they have a thermometer which humans can't buy thermometers you can only i guess buy the you, you can only use one at a doctor's office like even the pharmacy doesn't have one um, but yeah, I have like, my temperature's like a hundred, like I'm fine, but all I wanted was cuddles and chicken noodle soup. And I was asking around if anyone knew where I could get chicken noodle soup and they were like, oh, the closest you can get is this, that, or the other thing they said. And I was like, oh, what is it? They're like, it's, it's basically a, a stuffed chicken, like a whole stuffed chicken. So that was not what I wanted, but I went to the soup place near me and It was so much soup. I ate, like, a third of it. And by that, I don't mean, like, oh, I didn't eat very much. I mean, like, it was probably the size of a mixing bowl. Like, I took a picture. I'll post it to Facebook. You'll see. But, like, my Kindle, in its case, is about maybe even a little bit smaller than the diameter of the bowl. So, that was, I didn't try putting it in. That would be a bad idea. But that was was a huge quantity of soup. And then we had a fun game just now with my lack of viable Korean options, Korean speaking words, um, where I was trying to explain that I wanted a doggy bag. And I was like, this bag home, this home take, well, I I didn't have home. I said, this want there pointing to my apartment, which is across the street. And she assumed I wanted delivery and was like, oh, when? I was like, now please let me take it. And then I established bong tu, which is bag. And so she offered me a plastic bag, which was not, I mean, it was technically what I asked for. But it was not what I wanted. Um, so then I mimed pouring the soup into the bag and she was like, oh, and said something that I'm sure amounted to, well, why didn't you just say so? And I was like, I don't know what to tell you, lady. Um, and I wish I could tell you I remembered the word for box because Somebody else in the restaurant told me, but I, I don't. Um, also Saturday night at midnight, which was also maybe not the smartest, whatever. Saturday night at midnight, um, Nick and Charlie and Katie and Ross from England and I started trying an RPG online. There's a website that lets you do the thing. It's called Roll20. It's basically a por- like an internet tabletop. So like there's video, but my computer doesn't video, so... I could hear people. It was pretty exciting. And I could see them. They couldn't see me. Um, And we tried making our characters. And I can't begin to tell you how little I like building characters. Creating a character. Um, Playing is fun. But everybody's like researching this spell or the other. And I'm like, I just don't care. I just, I don't care. Just tell me what I am and I'll do it. Um, So I think I'm a juggler this time. A bard, maybe? I don't know, something probably useless. Um, It's really late on the... It's long. Sorry. Um, So I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, but first, hold on. Let's see if I can show you. I hung up my fairy lights. Can you see them? Yay, you kind of can. I hung up fairy lights around my room. There's a second string that starts right about there. Um, You can see it climbing up the wall because you can't daisy chain fairy lights here. But I didn't turn it on because it plugs in behind the fridge and I don't want to... Um, that's it. Oh, Michaela. I was going to tell you about Michaela. Um, so yeah, she's been here a year already teaching English. Her year was up in August. She's not two subway stops away. She, every Saturday, takes a class, like, learns Korean two subway stops away. She's maybe 20 minutes, half an hour away. Not too far. Um, so yeah, we hung out. It was pretty great. Um, and now that we know, now that I know how close we are, she knew. Now that I know how close we are, we'll probably, um, hang out a lot more. Um, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's it. I love you. Bye.